And we begin with the war in Ukraine. Good evening at 5 o'clock. I'm Shade Bedarin Wong. And I'm Bill Ritter. The stage is set for a second round of peace talks, hopefully. Ukraine saying it is sending a delegation to meet with Russian officials. Keep in mind, talks two days ago ended without any sign of progress. This is a casualties mount on both sides. Russia claims nearly 2,900 Ukrainians have been killed, and that's about 500 of its own forces are dead. But Ukraine says thousands of Russian troops have been killed. The truth, experts say, is probably somewhere in the middle. We do know the refugee crisis is also growing, with a number of Ukrainians fleeing their homes, approaching now the million mark. The United Nations General Assembly voting today to condemn Russia's invasion. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan is live at the U.N. with today's developments. Jim. Shade, 141 countries today voted to condemn Russia's invasion of its neighbor. The resolution was couched in diplomatic language, but it does demand an end to hostilities there. Russia, of course, is not listening. Vladimir Putin's uh, march into Ukraine rages on. In Ukraine today, Russia continued its relentless slaughter of its neighbor, ratcheting up the firepower from the air, a merciless attack that has left cities in ruins and a nation shell-shocked from the siege. Who did you leave behind? My husband, my home, my dog, my cats, my life. We want peace in the world and uh, we're really afraid. With good reason, the mighty Russian military is tightening its noose around the capital and cities from Kharkiv in the north to Odessa in the south, even as the outrage of the world bears down on Russia. The United Nations General Assembly today voted to condemn Russia's unprovoked war in Ukraine, an overwhelming rebuke, 141 nations in favor and just five, including Russia and Belarus, opposed. The declaration condemns aggression by the Russian Federation against Ukraine, demands that Russia immediately stop the aggression, and condemns the involvement of Belarus in the war. The message of the General Assembly is loud and clear. End hostilities in Ukraine now. Silence the guns now. Open the door to dialogue and diplomacy now. The vast majority of the world has condemned Russia's unprovoked, unjustified, unconscionable war. We have deplored Belarus for allowing its territory to be used to facilitate this aggression. Ukrainian President Zelensky sent out this thank you on social media saying a global anti-Putin coalition has been formed and is functioning. The world is with us, he said. The truth is on our side and victory will be ours. No, 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 no. But not soon. The resolution has no teeth, no way to stop the killing or to stop Vladimir Putin. It's a war, not just for Ukraine. It's, it's challenge for whole modern world, for whole democratic world. Russia has admitted that hundreds of its own soldiers have died on the battlefield in Ukraine, but Ukraine puts that number at closer to 6,000. Whatever the truth, Vladimir Putin is unmoved by it. He will have Ukraine, or what's left of it, when he's done.